Well, um, what do we do now? Well, you're the one with the Akaku. The question is how we get those rocks out of him. What? How bad is it? It's... I don't know what to say. His arm's perfect. I didn't know you were one for sarcasm. No, I'm serious. There's something in his system that just... I don't know, it destroyed all those rocks. Wait, really? No way! What could have done that? Some sort of acid, I'm guessing. Either that, or maybe something having to do with his element. Lava, perhaps. I don't think so. The temperature wasn't hot enough. But whatever it is, it's all over him. Am I dying? Whoa, slow down. You're okay. You just got... Uh, Lacinerated? Close enough. Aquera, can you feel your arm? It sure feels like I can. Wait... Krexa? Is that you? Yes, Toquera. It's me. It's been a while. Where have you been? Uh... At my house? So, all this time, you got to stay in Metro Nui? Well, no. It's on Earth. Earth. That's a weird name for an island. It's not a... Uh, never mind. What about you? Relatively well. Ugh. After whatever happened, happened, I was thrown out and fell unconscious. When I woke up, I found myself on Barra Magna. Ever since then, I've had to scavenge for resources to make weapons and to survive. How did you get here, though? While I was on Barra Magna, I met a lot of new people, including a peddler named Lydakia, who traveled and sold her wares. She stopped by my hut one day and asked if there was anything that I might want to buy. I told her what I remembered before, and about how I came to Barra Magna. Afterwards, she told me she had just the thing for me. She pulled out a small device from her traveler's bag and gave it to me, explaining what it did. I traded a small weapon to her for it. The top of this device opened up, and a metallic, flower-like apparatus extended out of it. Lifting it up to my head, the metallic petals moved to rest on my mask. Once they'd latched on, I fell into a deep coma. That's odd. I awoke to find myself in a different world, realm, whatever. At least, it appeared that I was. However, I wasn't actually there physically. It was cold and dark, and there was snow everywhere. Rariki found me in the drifts and told me that I was in Korerawa, just as I am now. Over time, with his guidance and Angwaru's help, I was taught the art of teleportation, how to travel between worlds at will. Once I was sure that I'd mastered the art, I willed myself to teleport here. However, as I'm sure you are all aware, things didn't quite go as smoothly as I wanted them to. The pain from this acidic substance that has latched itself onto my body started flaring up and I lost focus. And so you teleported into a wall. It makes sense now. Yes, uh, thank Matanui that it was only partially. If my entire body had been trapped inside one of the walls, now that would have been really painful. I'm so glad that you guys found me. I'd already been trapped here for what felt like a few days. I was starting to think that maybe no one would- A few days? Yes. Luckily, staying on Barra Magnus toughened me up. 
Something wrong? More than wrong. I fear times are changing. Our times. Look outside. Destiny. 